students and welcome back. So we are going to continue with our H lookup formula. The previous formula we looked at was our V lookup and we said V lookup, you see it searches down vertically. Now the H lookup is for horizontal like this. So you see the V lookup, it's like a pointing downwards. And the H lookup, you see it's like a little breach. You are, are moving like this horizontally. So when we look here, we see that we have a room number and then we have a lecturer. Now here we also see the room number and we see the lecturer. So we see we are going to search for the information in a horizontal method. Now, firstly, it is very important to remember that the lookup value must be in the top row of a table or array of values. Do you see here? This is my lookup value, room. And here you see room is my lookup value. It must be in the top row. Then it is important to Note that it will return the value in the same column from a row you specify. For example, if we look over here, we are going to look for 109. So you see 109 must be in the top row. There I can find it. Then in the same column, it will return the value, but you have to specify in which row. So do you see this is row 1, this is row 2, and this is row 3. So it means when we do HLOOKUP, we want it to look for the value in the top row and in the same column, it must now return the row underneath it. So you will see this will be row one, row two, row three, for example. Now let's break down our formula. So the lookup value, we see it is room. The lookup range or the table array it is over here, and we will look at different methods of highlighting just now. Then the number or row index is what do I want to return? So I want to return the lecturer. So it means row 1, row 2, row 3. I want row 3 to be returned. And then true and false, true or false. Remember true means it's an approximate match. False means it's an exact match. And also, if you are uns unsure about the sorting, it's best to, to select these options, even though they might look like, of, like they might have no value. Okay, so it's best to still go and, um, and indicate true or false. I like to always say false or zero, because that shows that it's an exact match. So let's start with the formula. I click where it says lecturer. And I start typing in my formula, which is H lookup. And you see, when I start typing in H lookup, it throws the word H lookup in blue. I just press tab. Now, firstly, lookup value. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the room number 109. Then I'm done with the lookup value. So I put in my semicolon. Then it says the table array. So where must I be looking from? Now, if we are highlighting, we can just highlight like this. And then we can put in a semicolon. In which row do we want the answer? Row 1, no. We don't want row 1's answer. Do we want the information in row 2? No. Do we want the information in row 3? Yes. I want to know who's the lecturer. So I say row 3. And then I want it to be an exact match. match. So I'm going to say 0. I close my bracket and I say enter. And let's look. Room 109 is for Miss or Mr. B. Zungu. Now let's copy our formula and see what happens. When I copy it, do you see I've got a problem? What is wrong? Let's go check. Firstly, when I started my formula B. Zungu, do you see I started at I2 and ended at P4? Let's look at the next one. When I copied the formula, do you see now it went one down, I3 to P5, um, I4 to P6. So we see that our formula is moving downwards. That This is not what we are looking for. 
what must we do? So let's go delete this. I'm going to delete. And then start up fresh. We say equal. We say H lookup. I say my lookup value, my room, semicolon, um, my computer uses semicolon. Then my table array. I'm going to highlight my table. Then remember, we have to say F4, our absolute cell. Then I put in my semicolon. I say from which row index number do I want the return value? So I see row one, row two, row three. I put in a semicolon and then I say it must be an exact match. So I say zero. I close my bracket and I say enter. Now again it says Bzungu, so the first answer is correct, but let's just drag the formula down. We copy the formula and we see, yes, now it is working out because it's now staying on this table. It does not move the location. Now remember there's another way we can also do this. I'm just going to remove the detail over here. And then I'm going to say, I want to give this this table, my lookup table uh, or lookup range, I want to give it a name and I'm going to call this table lecturer. So what I do is I highlight my table, then over here I'm going to give it a name. There's other methods as well but I like this method so I say lecturer. Okay and then I just press enter. Now this is my table name. So what I do now is I do the same formula. I say a uh, equal h lookup. I um, then say my lookup value is my room number, semicolon. And now I'm not going to highlight the table. I'm going to say the table name is lecturer. Do you see there it indicates to me the word lecture, lecturer? So I'm just going to press tab to insert it or you can click on it. I'm going to put my semicolon, my row index number or the return value is in row 3, so I say number 3, and I say it must be an exact match, so 0 for false, press enter, and let's copy the formula. And you see, now every time it will just put in the table name, lecturer, so it will not change your location, it will stay on that table. Now people, I hope that this um, made sense to you and um, if you would like to see more videos, you are welcome to subscribe and then every time that there's a new video, you will get a notification. Um, you are welcome to uh, send me a mes message and inform me if there's something else you would like me to explain. I hope you have a lovely day. Keep well. Bye.